How you doing? This is Sean McVeigh with Sean's Outdoor Adventures and in this video I'm going to tell you the top 10 things you may or may not have known about reality TV. I was on a show uh, a couple years ago which is how I got a little bit of the inside scoop. So let's run through this and um, we'll take it from there. So the very first thing you may or may not have known is that yes reality TV is scripted. Now what you may not have known is that some of these shows are entirely scripted. So basically you have people before the show even starts writing a script of how they want it to go and then they also have writers on the set. So if the people who they have on the show are either doing that bad that they're not getting what they need out of them, they will rewrite the script on the spot. And the way they achieve a lot of that is they tell you what they want you to do and then in these interviews they tell you what they want you to say. That's why a lot of these interviews on reality TV you hear the same thing all the time. Like the one that they were trying to pump me with and get me to say a lot was, oh I really feel like I need to prove myself to these people. Okay, the next thing you may or may not have known about reality TV is that yes, these people are generally paid. You know, some people think, oh, they're not paid at all because, you know, there's, you know, it's just they're filming their life and so they're not getting paid. Or some people think, oh, you're on TV, you must be making a lot of money. And of course, it's going to vary, you know, like depending on who you are, what kind of reputation you get, and then the Kardashians got real big so of course they could uh, negotiate for more money but a lot of these shows if it's just like a one-time thing you're not getting paid a whole lot another thing you may or may not have known about reality TV is that some of these productions are actually very expensive maybe not so much in the context of what it costs to produce TV shows in general but still when you look at the amount of money that goes into one of these productions it's kind of astounding the next thing you may or may not have known about reality TV shows is that, oh, at least the one I was on, there is a tremendous amount of money wasted with the decisions that are made on set and off set. I mean, just, 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 it's like money just seeping through the cracks. However, this brings me to that next point, which this you may or may not have known, is that the people in production work their tails off. It, like the, the show that I was on, they filmed 16 hours out of the day and we started at like 6 in the morning. These people, a lot of them lived a couple hours away from where we were filming. So they would get up, drive two hours, film for 16 hours, drive home. Some of them, I guess, would just get a hotel. But it was the amount of work these people did was mind-blowing. So these people deserve a lot of credit. They work hard. Another thing you may or may not have noticed about reality TV is that they take things out of sequence all the time to create a story. I know the episode that I was on, they were taking things from day 10 and putting them in day 4 trying to use little snippets to create the storyline that they wanted. Which is funny because ours was a reality show, so if you were paying attention to the facial hair alone, you would be like, from one scene to the next, like all of a sudden there's all this facial hair and all of a sudden it's like half the length again. It's like, well that was weird. Another thing you may or may not have known about reality TV is that they will tell you how long it takes to do an episode sometimes, like in some of these, and the reality is what they're doing is done in half that time, but you spend a whole lot of time just waiting for things like cars and trains and stuff to go by. I know ours was supposed to be a wilderness show, so anytime there was an airplane going by or a train or, I mean, we were right near a highway actually, and they were trying to make it seem like we were way out in the wilderness somewhere. And so we were constantly, constantly having to stop and hold, hold for train, hold for motorcycle. And so, I mean, you spend half your day standing there waiting for something to go by. Another thing you may or may not have noticed about reality TV shows is that they often follow the same storyline, which is uh, to cause conflict and drama and then have a conflict drama resolution by the end of the episode. So, you know, start off, you know, whatever's going on and all of a sudden there's drama, these people aren't getting along, and then very often in the end... It's a, it's a happy ending in a sense that they come to a, a conflict resolution. And they actually intentionally do that with their script writing. Another thing you may or may not have known about reality TV is that a lot of these people are pretty extensively screened. You wouldn't necessarily think that based on some of the people you see on these shows, but 
I had to go through physical exam, a psychological exam. I had to talk to a psychiatrist or whatever. We did like a Skype interview. And, um, and he, it was funny. He, used to, he tried to prep people for what they're about to experience because people don't know. But he's like, it's going to be long days. It's going to be exhausting. It's not going to be glamorous. You're going to be told what to say. You're going to be told what to do. And that's not, people a lot of times don't think that going into a reality TV show. But he's right. You know, it's really a, a long days, a lot of standing around, a lot of boringness. And then they, you know, create their fake drama here and there. And All right, I actually just got home from my little trip I was on recording that and found out that the audio file of the last snippet I did got corrupted. So I'm re-recording it. Basically, the last point I was going to make is that um, a lot of people on reality TV shows are actually, they don't even apply. You know, some of them do, but I didn't. Uh, they were just out looking for people to fill a certain role. So, you know, you never know. Well, you know, I have this outdoor YouTube channel and they just recruited me from it. So, you know, you post a video online, you just never know who's watching and uh, what they might recruit you for. So, so there you have it. There's 10 things you may or may not know about reality TV. And uh, I just recorded two other little series, if you want, two, two other little episodes to add to the series. One's a little bit of footage I recorded before and after my experience on reality TV, sort of a behind the scenes. And the other one is just me talking a little bit about what my experience was like while on the show. Uh, I don't go into a whole lot of detail because, uh, you know, re restricted on what I can say. But, um, you know, if you want to check those out, there's going to be a link for those in the description section of this video. Thanks for tuning in. Take care. God bless.